Deputy Attorney General, this is the third or fourth time that the President has alleged election fraud mm -hmm. without proof. He did it during the 2016 primaries, he did it after the 2016 general election, and he's doing it now. Why do you continue to indulge him? Well, what I'm going to do here in the Senate is concentrate on the business that we have left to do, which I mentioned a while ago. An omnibus appropriation bill, maybe another coronavirus package, and let the presidential election go through the various stages that it, that it goes through under the Constitution. There will be apparently litigation. Those cases will be decided. And then the Electoral College will meet. And then we'll have the inauguration. But I am going to concentrate on what we are trying to do here in the remainder of this Congress. Was there any fraud in your Senate race or any Senate race that you know of? I'm sorry? Was there any fraud in your Senate race or any Senate race that you know of? I, I, I don't know. I, at the risk of bragging, it wasn't very close. <laughs> the bipartisan 9 11 report said that the abbreviated transition period after the 2004 Bush fight contributed to the lack of security preparedness before 9 11. Shouldn't the GSA sign off on the requisite paperwork now to let the transition begin and avoid a similar crisis? Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to have an interrupted transition to whoever is the next administration. I think we ought to quit all the hand-wringing and not act like this is extraordinary. We're going to get through this period and we'll swear in the winner on January the 20th, 2021, just like we have every four years since 1793.